a dual battery discharge balancer 40 amp kit rolled into a valve an addition of 10 amp hours to this 48 volt setup this factory battery is 48 volt 12.8 amp hours with an additional 10 amp hours through the electric all wheel dual battery discharge balance kit oh this wiring is just left something to be desired Not like so. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. So it does work. We're going to do the dual battery with our trusty 48 volt 10 amp hour battery that we got from Amazon. This battery has worked like a charm. You've probably seen it in every one of the videos. I, I've actually shrink wrapped the end here. I wish that was standard, but it is not. Uh, however, I like the bag. It just, it's easy to place all over the bike. There's a good spot here. There's a good spot here. So this is gonna work out. Uh, we do have XT60 connectors, so that's gonna be perfect. We're just gonna unplug. This is the battery, this is the controller. It's gonna plug right in, it's gonna be convenient. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and test this on camera and then we'll get to it. This is just gonna be temporary. We'll probably lay it across here and let this latch hold it stable across the uh, center crossbar for the bike. So yeah, we'll place the uh, discharge balancer in the battery bag on the side. That looks to be the right length for two cables. So we know we have out to the controller. We're not going to hook up the factory battery yet. We are going to test the 48 volt. We know that we're unplugged from the factory battery, so this isn't even operational. And then what we'll do is unplug the bag battery, plug in the factory battery. So there's that one. We know this one is unplugged. Here is the plug-in for it right here. We have a dual battery discharge balance setup for the Troxxas Skyhopper, which means that we're likely gonna be compatible with uh, the majority of their product line. So the 40 amp balancer with the XT60 braided extension cables will work for you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this wiring, make it look nice. And I have some half inch heat shrink wrap that I'm gonna use here. So I'm gonna come off this end and get a good overlap, get this covered, and then some onto the braided cable here. So I've slipped some cable or sleeving, so heat shrink wrap sleeve over my connected cable and my XT60. So now I'm just gonna run it up this line and then bring it back to a good coverage there and there.
I'm running about the back side uh, because of the way the zipper will fit. It will be on the other side of the body. So there we have it, a dual battery discharge balancer 40 amp kit rolled into a valve, an addition of 10 amp hours to this 48 volt setup. This factory battery is 48 volt, 12.8 amp hours with an additional 10 amp hours through the electric all wheel dual battery discharge balance kit. And now we have a 22.8 amp hour this bike will put in some miles if you let it. Check us out on Facebook, check out our YouTube, give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We also have e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. If you're in the area, go ahead and check that out too. Give us some help if you'd like. We have an Instagram account, we're trying. Uh, TikTok is there as well, electricallwheel.com. We're trying to wrap that up. This turned out great. I'm gonna go take it for a ride. We'll talk to you next time.